Hello agents, hello everyone. So today I want to take a look and focus on the future of this year. What's going to happen in fixed annuities? What advantages can we look for with a 10 year treasury nearing 4.8% or actually right about 4.8%. I have always said about a 4.25 treasury and annuities become very competitive. So I'm going to go into the five advantages you can look for uh, at the end of 2023 based on these new higher rates and uh, what cool stuff, um, what advantages um, come with higher rates, right? So five fixed annuity advantages for the end of the year. First off is the obvious much higher interest rates. Interest rates are at highs not seen in nearly 20 years, I think 2007 maybe, and then it was a short-lived experience. So you might have had rates tick up between then and now, but not to this rate, not to this level. Two through 10-year MIGA multi-year guarantee annuities now are at 5% or better. Most are closing in on that mid 5% range from three years all the way to 10 years. And some 10 years have actually touched the 6% compound interest rate range. So if the benchmarks keep increasing, we should be able to see 6% on the five-year range maybe. So let's just see what happens on those. But in, in at, overall, in the last year, we've seen in, interest rates increase super hugely. Uh, next is the higher rated carriers are very competitive now. So where you'd have to go to, uh, you know, where you need 3%, you need to go to a B plus or a lower rated carrier. Um, now you can do this with A plus. So, you know, the difference between maybe a B plus plus and an A plus is like 20 basis points now, where before it was like full percentage points. So the difference between three and two, it's huge, right? It's like a 30% difference. Now you're the difference between 540 and 520. You know, that 20 points might be worth it just to grab the higher rated A-plus carrier. Also, um, they're very competitive. Um, some of these higher carriers have walk away, so you don't have that 30-day window. That's another thing um, that you're going to see happen. So next is client-friendly features I'll be included. So when rates were at historic lows, the companies had to get creative to kind of bring yield to the client. So what they did is they stripped these products out or created products with no features, no internal costs, no free withdrawal benefit. They would have uh, wait, no waivers and even a surrender charge at death unless the clients held it usually for five years or 10 years. So no longer. Now clients can get all those features, free withdrawals, full death benefit waivers, uh, no recurring surrender charges, all that stuff with the top competitive rates now. So you can get like, I think it was, I saw a 560 for four years with 10% free withdrawal, full death benefit waivers, uh, all that good stuff. So also the minimum guarantees, which I don't even touch on here, are going up. So that same A plus company from the higher rated carriers. Now I saw a five and a quarter from an A plus five year with a 3% minimum for October 2023. So that's the strongest guarantee in the contract is that minimum. So yeah. So that's another feature you're going to get is you get all the client features included. No reason to take a strip down MIGA. Uh, FIA. FIA is they had to get creative and uh, make all these new crediting methods so that they would illustrate well, right? Because they had to back model these things. And with a 3% cap, it's never going to look good. Um, but now with these um, higher interest rates, you can get the most competitive caps with the simplest crediting strategy. So for instance, the annual lock-in point-to-point -point strategy, point-to-point -point cap are now very competitive with some caps even guaranteed for the entire terms at 10% or higher. So if you thought a 6% cap was nice, let's see how much higher they can get at the end of this year. Um, so as long as that volatility stays down in that options market, you may see like locked in 12% caps. And at that point, they're ex that's extremely historically competitive because in the past, you know, when these things first came out in the 90s, you had 15, 16% caps and they did very well, but those caps were never locked in and they would reduce as time goes on. Today, you can find a cap that guarantees 10% won't change for the whole seven years. Very competitive. So that's another thing interest rates increasing have brought up. And one of the biggest increases I've seen is in the lifetime income immediate annuities, the SPIA lifetime income, man, those are up huge. Lifetime income rates are up huge. Here's, a, here's an example. Life in 10 years certain for a male 65 with $100,000 in April of 2022, he was getting 562 a month, right? Today, October 2023, 
that income is 647 a month. That's a 15% increase or $1,018 a year uh, or a full 1% of your premium every year extra, extra, extra. Um, it's the same basis they were using for a 70-year-old a year and a half ago. So in April of 2022, that 70 year old was getting 648. Today, a 65 year old gets 647. So this is what I'm saying. These are huge increases in the immediate annuity. So you can lock in these gains for life or these higher rates for life with the immediate annuity. So just touching on it, you have much higher interest rates, higher rated carriers with those interest rates, client friendly features, including free withdrawals, waivers, walk away provision, higher minimum guarantees, all that stuff, more client friendly. FIA caps are higher and guaranteed. So when that market does come back, uh, you will participate in more of the upside potential. And then immediate annuities, lifetime income, get more income, 1% more a year for that 65 year old than simply April of 2022. So those are five really great things we're seeing with the increased interest rates in the fixed annuity marketplace. And um, yeah, there's just some disclosures here. Remember, rates are subject to change at any time. So anything I discuss in this video or any of my previous videos, those are subject to change at any time. Um, and of course, you know, they're only as strong as the company is only as strong as their pays claim paying ability. That's why the minimums with, uh, are the higher rated carriers now with the 550 rates, 525 rates. You know, along, you know, whereas the B plus plus is at 550, you can get A plus for 540. Uh, it's not a lot to think about there if you're sensitive to those issues or you're going for a longer term. Anyway, yeah, that's the end of my presentation. Hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and we'll be talking to you soon. Take care. Bye bye.